everyone. I am the mayor of Calico, Mayor Desmond Ryder, and this is my lovely wife, Miss Josie. Thank you, honey. Welcome, y'all. It is a pleasure and an honor to have you out here today. We are certainly very happy to have all you fine town folk out here today on this fine day, this opening day of the Knott's Berry Farm Boys and Berry Festival. Yes, 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 yes. I am excited myself. Oh yes, it, it is going to be a flavorful two weeks here on the farm celebrating everything Boys and Berry. From a, yes, yes, you love Boys and Berries, don't you, sir? I, I don't blame you. Everything from uh, from candy and soda pop for the little ones to uh, boys and berry wine and delectable alligator bites for us adults. Uh, oh yes, woohoo indeed, woohoo indeed. I say that it will be a veritable smorgasbord of berry delights that the world has never seen before. Oh my lord, but don't forget my prize when it preserves. I would never do that, my little, my little pudding pop. <laughs> yes, now, yes, now, I, I'll say that everyone, my wife's preserves have worn blue ribbons in every county from here to Sweetwater, as many miles, as many years as there are those miles in a journey. <laughs> yes. Oh, my honey, thank you so much. Yes, boys and bears are the most amazing berries to bake with. Why, they can be used for countless of dishes. And they're so tasty. Why, folks such as yourself have traveled for miles around just to sample the wonderful dishes here at Knott's Berry Farm. Isn't that right? That's certainly right, my dear, certainly right. And remember now, the Boysenberry can trace its roots all the way back here to Knott's Berry Farm. Roots! I like what you did there, honey. Very clever, very clever indeed. Well, thank you, my little jalapeno pepper. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Yes, yes. Now, as I was saying, you see, uh, the Knott's Berry, or the Boys and Berry, as they say, started here at Knott's Berry Farm. It was almost a hundred years ago, right here in Buena Park, where Mr. Walter Knott himself, while well, he set out on a quest to find the perfect berry. And well, right over yonder, he did. It was created by Mr. Rudolph Boysen. It's a cross between a blackberry and a raspberry and a loganberry. Now this brand new delicacy, it didn't catch on quite yet. And those grape vines or those boysenberry vines, they had fallen into disrepair. So Mr. Boysen, he agreed to let Walter nurse up that plant back to health. Walter did more than that. You see, he cultivated that berry on this, this very land that we're standing on right now. And he suddenly, he started selling that newly dubbed boysenberry out of his roadside, uh, little roadside fruit stand. And nearly every day, they sold out. And so people from miles around, as far away as Norwalk, Los Angeles, and, and Winnetka, they came out to see this, this brand new delicious creation. And soon jams and jellies and pies featuring this boys and Mary, why they put all little town of Calico on the map. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Therefore, today we're here to celebrate the boys and berry in the biggest festival this side of Prescott, Arizona. Why we've got games, we've got music, but we've got food galore. Now it's what made us who we are today, isn't that right, my honey bunny? It certainly has, it certainly has, yes. Uh, uh, yes, it has made me exactly who I am today. Uh, now today, of course, we are gathered here in Calico Square to officially open the Boys and Berry Festival here at Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs>